the astronauts are about to come out, but for some reason the back side of the capsule is being shown. The angle changes, and we see that an astronaut is already sitting at the hatch edge. But who is this, and where did he come from? We do not see the face. The host assumes that this is the spacecraft commander, Michael Hopkins, but due to the poorly chosen angle, we cannot confirm this. I think that's Mike Hopkins, the commander. Uh, he seems very excited. <laughs> Feeling pretty good after six months in space. <laughs> Six months in zero gravity, but for some reason he gets to his feet and takes two steps. All this is contrary to everything that we have seen before, after returning from long missions. The astronaut, whoever it is, clearly spots his great physical shape. Held by the arms, he is taken out of the camera's field of view, and we no longer see him. We have not been able to establish with certainty who it was. Now a chute is installed in the hatch along which the astronauts are supposed to be pulled out. But why didn't the first one need it? Was the physical shape of the others so poor that they needed help? But why then the first one doesn't need it? Where did he come from? Is this a stuntman? Does NASA need to refute the fact that after six months mission astronauts cannot walk on their own? Is this necessary to justify their 50-year-old videos when not knowing the first thing about adverse effect of zero-g on human body, they showed astronauts walking after the missions, while now we know that this is impossible? The extraction of the rest of the crew is not shown, which caused dissatisfaction and misunderstanding in the comments section of the video. Hosts don't have the video feed either. We have heard that Shannon Walker is now outside of the Crew Dragon Resilience capsule. We have heard that Shannon Walker is now outside. Don't get me wrong, I don't doubt the Dragon's mission to the space station. What I think is that NASA is trying to conceal the fact that 50 years ago they were not able to send a man even to low Earth orbit. And the very first American reached the Earth orbit on April 12, 1981. Look at how the return from space is shown in authoritarian Putin's Russia and compare it with the democratic USA. Awesome. Let's, let's get on this ride again. <laughs> Where's my ticket? Come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on